Hi, welcome to a brand new Simply Maya tutorial. Now this is the introduction to our SPAC Arlsberg House Volume 5. I just wanted to give you a quick run through of what we cover in this. So this is going to be a rendering and compositing tutorial. So we're going to render out various different passes and layers from within Maya. And in order to do this, we're going to take a look at Maya's new render pass system. Now this is new in Maya 2016 for the new version of Mental Ray, and it's a much better system than the old one. So we'll look at light path expressions to get more information out. We'll look at splitting this render up into all of its various different components and then recombining it later on to give us an entirely um, different degree of control over the image than we would have if we just kind of did the post-production in something like Photoshop. We'll also look at some more traditional render layers style for getting stuff out that we couldn't do with render passes. So we'll look at creating some things like volume um, fog for volumetric lighting and stuff like this. So when we've done that, when we've got all the information out of Maya, we'll move on to Nuke, where we'll do a composite for a uh, still image, the one you see in front of you. So this is what it looked like before we started. And this is a state raw render out of Maya. This is then broken up into its various passes. So you've got a diffuse transmission, a div diffuse, a glossy, an indirect. But also we'll look at creating various mats so this is a 4K image, so it's a bit slow, my apologies, but there you can see a mat for the daisy head. We'll look at mixing mat sets, so here's a mat set for the main house. So we'll look at color correction based on mat sets. We'll look at how to go you know, from here to here, really. Now after we've finished that, we'll look at compositing for animation. So if I pop open a file with an animation, and if you've been following this through, you'll know that this is the environment and house we created in the previous four volumes. But you'll notice our sky moves with us. Um, so this is done on a 3D piece of geometry within Nuke. And we'll look at various techniques for compositing for animation. So I hope you join me for this one. See you in the first part, hopefully.